Hello everyone and welcome back. So today's recipe is this beautiful obono soup recipe. If you like to know how I made it, please keep watching. For the ingredients you'll be needing obono, this is the main ingredient. Cow meat, mackerel fish, cow skin, this is shaki. Dried pepper, blended crayfish, a bulb of onion, seasoning cubes, and low cost bean. Spinach, you can use any vegetable of choice. Salt to taste, dried fish. And lastly, palm oil. And feel free to use any protein of choice. So I will begin by cooking the toughest part of the meat, which are shaki and cow skin. Then I will be seasoning it with my onion, seasoning cubes, and a little salt. I will be adding a little water to help the cooking process, stir it nicely, then cover the pot and allow it to cook for at least 20 minutes. Wash the dry fish, I will be pouring a good amount of hot water to it which helps it to soften. So I will Discard the water after a few minutes, debone the fish and clean it up thoroughly with water and salt. To the obono, I will add a good amount of red oil to it. Combine it very well to form a thick paste and I will set it aside. After 20 minutes, I checked the meat, then I put the combined obono paste to the pot, cover the pot and allow it to steam for at least 5 minutes. This method helps the obono to draw after cooking. After 5 minutes, I brought out the obono from the pot. Then I added the cow meat. The mackerel fish. And I seasoned it with a little of the crayfish. Third to combine together. And added a little more water to help the cooking process. Right now, I will be taking out the mackerel fish from the pot because they are already done. Then I will go in with the obono, which I will be adding in smaller bits to help it dissolve so fast. So share with me what method you use when you are making your obono soup.
At this moment, I will be adding in the dried pepper, the washed dried fish, and the remaining crayfish. Then I will give them a very nice stir. Cover the pots and allow to cook on a medium heat. For the low cost bean, I added it already without knowing that my camera was not recording. This is actually the real life of a content creator. I'm so sorry for that. After some minutes of cooking the soup, I checked it and added more water to it because the obono is still thick. But feel free to leave it like this if you're the type that loves eating thick obono soup. For me, I love the consistency when it is not too thick. So after adding water, I will give it a very good stir, cover the pot and continue cooking. When making your obono soup, make sure that your eyes are on it so that it doesn't get burnt. So I checked and stirred the soup very well. Guys, can you see the consistency of this soup? This is actually the way I love it. Right now, I will be going in with the seasoning cubes. Then I will add a little salt. So feel free to adjust the taste of your soup. I tasted the soup and it was so yummy and delicious. So lastly, I went in with the spinach, turned it very well and allow it to steam for just one minute. At this moment, our obono soup is almost ready. So I added back the mackerel fish to the pot, give it a very nice stir and allow it to steam for just one minute. Guys, can you see this delicious and yummy obono soup? It is looking so beautiful and delicious. So if you have watched up until this moment, thank you all for watching. If you are just coming across this channel for the very first time, Please consider subscribing to join our beautiful family and remember to turn your bell on so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. To my returning subscribers, thank you all for always coming back. See you guys in my next one.